we are in the month of March and, uh, and the month celebrates the International Women's Day. Uh, you have uh, established yourself as, uh, as a, a, a leader uh, and in, in, a, in an industry which is seen as a male dominated industry, in terms of numbers it is, but given the age that we are in where women have more than proved their mettle, you know, do you think the reasons for commemorating this International Women's Day should change? And yes, uh, what do you think they should be? Um, so thank you for having me on this interview in this month. And I, I appreciate and understand the, um, the significance of it. I think women must be celebrated today and every day and this month and all the time uh, for many reasons, mainly because they are incredible multitaskers. Um, as for being a leader, I think, you know, we are constantly growing and constantly learning. And uh, I must admit, I am uh, I feel like I'm always in that phase. So I'm very happy to be in the position I'm in today and, and hope to grow and learn as the years go by and learn from all my colleagues. Um, I, I think the need to celebrate women is, is at its foremost because more and more women play multi, multiple roles and uh, have such duality in terms of, you know, committing themselves to highly professional enterprises and also still maintaining, you know, the balance at home. And hence, I think celebrating women is, is more important than ever. Um, if I was to say there should be any change in, in, in the dialogue there, I would just say that, you know, we must realize that today with the, with the digitization coming into our homes, actually women have really a very similar playing field as a man. Uh, you can do almost the same amount in the same day, if not more, and certainly push yourself more and more than ever. And that, that has been enabled a lot through IT, uh, making us really, in a way, able to participate from wherever we are. And again, as I say, um, you know, keep all the different things that we have to manage uh, afloat at the very same time. Yeah. And, uh... In the, in the, if you look at the same uh, topic of uh, International Women's Day from an exclusively from an Indian perspective, do you think you know at some sections you know, of the society, including maybe you not know, uh, lawmakers and you know, uh, other stakeholders of the society, should be more sensitized uh, to uh, women and the role and and importance of women that uh, in, in the society? Um. You know, I, I have always uh, watched closely and, and, and been quite amazed at how many women leaders we have in India, whether you look at from, uh, you know, in politics, take politics, for example, I mean, we have such strength in our women leaders who have been chief ministers and, uh, well, prime ministers and had such, had such strength and have made it both electorally and also in, in their ministries being so strong as, uh, as women leaders in politics. And of course, you know, many women, even in India are running such large companies and certainly holding such important positions in, in, in many, many, many large companies. I, uh, I think, I think we, we need to just carry on with supporting the girl child in our rural areas and creating a good education system for those children to come up the line and they will do the rest themselves. As long as we create the base, the, the civic sense and the, and, the education, and the education system and have opportunities, they will do the rest. Um, the time has come that I don't think we need to really be um, you know, making any special allowances, but just providing them with the opportunities and they will rise to it and they will take them. Very uh, right said, uh, provide the opportunities right at the grassroots level, you know? and especially on the education side. Yeah. Uh, if I'm, and before ending, if I may get an update on uh, the uh, role of women at the Anand Group in terms of your you know, uh, employees, uh, you know? I believe till last year it was somewhere in the tune of about 20 odd percent or so of the overall workforce. Yeah. Uh, so, has it uh, moved up and what is the plan? So, no, actually, we. Um, our target was 20% to 22%, okay. which was quite an aggressive target. We haven't achieved it. We are still at 17% across the group. Um, on the shop floor, actually, we are at 23.5%. So 
So we are higher on the shop floor, which is interesting. Uh, you know, we have an operating engineer model, so they're all diploma holders, but we have one plant that is 100% women on the shop floor and uh, a couple of other plants that are in the 60s and 70%. They're all diploma holder engineers. Um, as we go up the ladder, it has been harder to retain some of our, our leaders who have gone into management positions, but that's very much something that we are working on. And I hope to take that 17% up to our target of 20 and 22% as uh, in the short and the medium term. Best wishes to you for that. And uh, Mr. Singh, it was a, a pleasure talking to you and, uh, and uh, best wishes once again on your new role and uh, wishing you and all at Anand Group all the very best on behalf of Autocar Professional.